I feel this is like a good side hustle for someone who got a certain amount but doesn't know how to like start his or her own business okay if you are someone that you have a bit of knowledge on you know sometimes when I come across opportunities I always feel like putting it out there so you guys can also have an idea okay so you guys who also have the knowledge of like the hustling and the ups and downs this can happen if you're in Canada this can happen even if you're outside any country I mean hustling is hustling making money you can make it in any country regardless but um, if you're in Canada it's going to be more of I mean advantage to you because of um, the resource and how things are much easier the side so I'm just coming from the auction and I believe I've been making multiple videos on the channel talking about auctions how I got my car at the auction I mean I've done a couple of videos if you are new and you don't know you can just click back and view some of my previous videos so I went in today because on the auction I mean the website where I normally buy I was there and then there is another section which I've never tried before so this is like a the EPS which I believe it should stands for Edmonton Police Service and these are vehicles or these are the section where they deal with impound or seized cars so I saw it and they're like okay so they'll be running the auction on the 10th which is tomorrow I'm not sure when you guys will be seeing this video anyways so I went in because mostly before the due date you can go in view the cars test drive well this time they didn't allow me to test drive for rules and regulations I don't know but majority of the cars were looking good but bear in mind these vehicles are seized these are impound vehicles so mostly there should be issues related to raw um, gun so those are the reasons why the cars are impound so this are section purposely made for vehicles that are seized so police stops you they see some illegal drugs they have to impound the car over speeding you take the car in you have a certain duration to come pay a certain amount depending on your crime or depending on your offense and if you fail to come pay it i think they have some duration probably a month two or three i don't know if you don't show up they would then leave the car to the public they will auction it and whoever buys it buys it i did ask okay so if you guys saw the car what do you guys do to the money and where does it go and one of the guys said well when they saw the car they just i mean directed to the government so regardless of the amount it all goes back to the government that is if you don't claim it so it's kind of crazy because when I got there, there were a bunch of vehicles there. And I'm not talking about old cars. These are like, I even saw a 2019 Dodge Ram, which is insane. I mean, the price of that car, holy. <laughs> so mostly you might get issues like maybe windscreen crack, bumper broken, uh, scratches on the door. I actually saw one with blood inside. And I was like, uh, what happened here? And he said it could be anything related to or something but normally there is issues with the vehicles and one thing that i want you guys to know that anytime you want to bid on government's seized or impound vehicles you should be aware that most of the vehicles don't have the keys i think this upcoming auction they got about 25 or 23 vehicles coming up and almost half not even half more than half does not have the keys to the vehicles so that is something that you guys should always know mostly the police vehicles don't have keys and you buy it as it is so it is more like gambling you know with the normal auction section you do have some abilities to claim a return if ever something doesn't go right so with the auction let's say they post a car and they say um airbag popped that's the only problem if you buy it and later on you notice uh gearbox doesn't sound right engine is leaking there is a noise you can return it and say hey you guys said airbag but now there is multiple problems but with the police or government seizures you cannot return it so you buy it as it is <laughs> regardless so i made a couple of calls today and i asked um what i like i wanted to know more because myself i've never bidded on um 
impound or seed vehicles and they told me this is how it works it's gambling you take it as it is there is no return but the nice part is there is no starting bid okay so normally with the auctions i mean any auction that you may encounter or bid on you will see that all right so this vehicle we auctioning it but the starting price is two thousand so from two thousand if you want it you bid if someone wants to bid the price goes up but with the government ones they impound ones there is no starting price so the price start as low as 25 dollars so it goes up it goes up and i did spoke with one of the guys and i did ask what is the minimum amount someone has ever picked up a car here and he said they've actually sold a car for 250 dollars and i'm like <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> 250 dollars can't even buy a tire in a room <laughs> but it is what it is so they just get rid of it as it is so if you win a car for 200 100 500 you take it as it is that is why if later you encounter any issues you take it on your own you are not allowed to complain or say hey this is not working i don't like the car I'm bringing it back no you take it as it is so this is more of the police impound seizures and if you are in edmonton I'm sure you might have noticed this place by Yellowhead when you get on the, it's not a highway, I think it's semi-highway. So when you get on it, on your right hand side, you see a big yard with many cars on it and it's actually written police seized vehicles or so. Yeah, so there's thousands of vehicles over there. So they hold on to the car for, I don't know, three, four months, five months, six months, depending i don't know on the situation and if the person doesn't claim it it comes back on the auction lane so i think it's kind of a good advantage and this can actually help someone who has the hustling spirit like me okay i do have jobs all right i have full-time job that i i do but at the same time i feel this is like a good side hustle for someone who got a certain amount but doesn't know how to like start his or her own business okay if you are someone that you have a bit of knowledge on vehicles if you are someone that you love cars and you have maybe a minimum of let's say five thousand dollars or even three thousand dollars this is a good side hustle that you can do that you honestly going to love so it's not a one-off thing they have dates they have calendar that they do and i think i picked one of them so this is the upcoming auction i'm not sure if you guys can see it yeah i think you guys should be able to see it so this is the upcoming auction and it's got the date on it so the first auction for the year happened in january 10th the second one was february 14th third one march 13th and the upcoming one is april 10th which is tomorrow and then the next one, May 8th, June 12th, July 10th, August 14th, September 11th, October 9th, November 13th, December 11th. And then they're done for the year. So every month, yeah, every month, there will always be new vehicles coming in. And it's crazy the amount of nice cars that you can actually buy for a reasonable amount. And here's the thing. A lot of people don't actually buy or regard the police cars because they tend they, they actually feel like it's it has a lot of problems because here's the thing let's say someone went to steal money he jumps in someone's car the person is running away police is after him he goes and crash him the whole engine everything is messed up so those are the cars that you get at the police impound vehicle so it could be that it could be in situation someone stole some car at the mall it could be anything car like a whole bunch of issues you might be lucky you might not have any issue you might be lucky no keys you just buy key it starts you might be unlucky and then you buy it you buy key it doesn't start or maybe engine has a knock so the police is your cars it's kind of an advantage and disadvantages as well hence i said if you are someone that got the hustling spirits and you have a bit of knowledge about cars this is really going to be a nice side hustle for anyone and once again it doesn't matter if you're in canada it doesn't matter if you're in ghana nigeria south africa wherever i mean auctions happens everywhere and 
for me, I started this automotive business, like I said, in SA. So I do know the inside and out of this whole thing. It's kind of, I mean, a beneficial thing for me. And this is something that I think I'm going to be doing full time, even when I don't have my current job. All you need is like a certain amount. And at this point of time, if you have about $15,000 or maybe $20,000, you can start like a full time business with this. This is like something that I thought maybe I'll let you guys know. It's, it's, it is nice. And trust me, I do know what I'm talking about. I've buy and sell a car for double the price. And it's not all that sweet. <laughs> sometimes you lose, sometimes you gain, sometimes you go equal. It all depends. Hence, I said, you need to have the knowledge of automotive. If you don't have the knowledge of this car business, then you're always going to lose. I mean, you will lose sometimes, but it shouldn't be like constantly. It's not something that you should be losing every now and then. Then, um, What was the purpose then? So this is the little updates um that i just uh, noticed so i'm just coming from there right now just arrived like just now so it's something that i think everyone should check out if ever you have a little amount little knowledge about vehicles why not get into it create some business for yourself so guys thank you very much for coming i just hope you did enjoy and if you have any questions with regards to this auction cars how to go about and all that or maybe if you have any business idea related, I mean, anything, just drop it in the comment section. Let's vibe, let's share, let's communicate, all right? And if you are new, um, yeah, it's free. Subscribe, like, I really appreciate it very much. So thanks for coming. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Peace.